Hello everyone, this is Nikita and today I have come up with a video on report definitions in Pekka. This was requested by most of you so I thought then uh, so I thought that it's good that we first delve into the basics of Pekka and this comes uh, as a very basic concept that you need to understand if you have started your journey with Pekka. So let's first start to understand what is a report definition. So basically, report definition is a type of rule through which we fetch records from a database table in Pekka. So we know that different type of databases, we use the SQL statement or the SQL statements to fetch the data. So in Pekka also, the uh, fetching, of database, fetching of data through a database table happens through a SQL statement only, but this is encapsulated through a report definition which acts like a which acts like a, a mechanism through which we can directly interact with the database table so this particular rule type also contains the different nuances that you have in a sql statement like a select clauses then you have the where clause then you have different kind of joins right so all of these are available in report definition as well it's just that you have to know how to use them in what scenario which would be more applicable. So with these in mind, let's just start uh, to understand what are the things that we would cover in this particular video. So first of all, we would understand what is a report definition, which I've already mentioned that it's a, you know, a SQL statement only where you have the select clauses, where clauses and different type of joins. It's, it's just like a GUI or a graphical user interface just given to us instead of the normal uh, DB statement that you have to write. Okay, you can parameterize them. Then we would understand a different type of joins for an example in a Pega platform. And then how do you call a, or reference a report definition? Basically, after you have created a report definition, the next challenge is how do we refer them and in which situation uh, we can refer them, right? So all of these things we would cover here. So let's just uh, start. So let's just go to our application and first see how a report definition looks like. First of all, where do we find a report definition rules? So in the record tab, when you go and go to reports and you will find a report definition category, just click on it. And you would find all of the different types of report definition, which is available in my application as well as some uh, out of the box report definition, right? So let's just open one of the report definition, which is test report. Uh, so what are the thing that you need to know in a report definition? First of all, in the name of the report definition, then the class to which you are uh, wanting to fetch the data, right? So as we already know that every class in Pega is mapped to a database table in DB, right? So uh, when you use a report definition in a particular class, basically what you're doing is you're fetching the data or the records from a table which is mapped to this class, right? So like Likewise, you have to remember when you're creating a report definition, you need to know that which class or which uh, table will uh, fetch me the exact result that I want. Okay. So with this, uh, when we create a report definition, we need to know the class to which we are fetching the data. Then comes the, then comes the next part, which is the select clauses. So select clause is the columns that I need to fetch from a table. Okay, like we have in select star or select the column names we give from which table and then there's a where clause. So let me uh, show you how it looks. Let me open a notepad for you. Okay, so what do we do? We in our database table when we have to fetch anything, we give select PYID, then equipment. This is the name of my columns from, from the table name. So my table name here can be anything. Let me take as test table. Okay. 
वेर इक्विपमेंट इज वेन इक्विपमेंट इज स्क्रू ड्राइवर ओके सो दिस इज माई सिलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट हाउ डू आई यूज अ सेम थिंग इन माई दिस पर्टिकुलर रिपोर्ट डेफिनेशन राइट सो आई एम आस्किंग फॉर पी वाई आई डी एंड इक्विपमेंट सो आई हैव पी वाई आई डी आई हैव इक्विपमेंट सो दिस वर द टू कॉलम दैट आई वॉन्टेड टू फेच सो इट्स दैट दे आर सम एडिशनल कॉलम विच आई कीप इट फॉर नाउ और यू कैन रिमूव इट इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट ओके नाउ कम द नेक्स्ट पार्ट विच इज फ्रॉम द टेस्ट टेबल so table name uh, we need not mention it here because when we are creating a report definition we already have to select a class and that class is mapped to a table so basically this will take care when you create a report definition now the next part is where clause where equipment is screw driver now what i have to do is for this i have to go to the filters condition right so in filters you will see that there is this option right so let me remove this one and now let me create equipment is equal screw driver okay so now it be it has become an sql statement so let me first remove everything else okay okay so now when you run it you might not get any data because there should be some column with the value as uh, equipment with the value screw driver which i don't think so it's possible right now don't have any uh, let me remove everything else mm -hmm. okay i will not get any data because i don't have any equipment with Uh, is equal screw driver so let me change my uh, filter condition okay so let me take it as number of equipment okay is maybe greater than 2 then i should have some value let's see let me give a select clause a number of equipment as well so let's run this so how do you run it go to actions and then run then you should see the records yes i see lot of records because i have given as number of equipment as greater than 2 which uh, you will find lot many records have so this is how a report definition is and this is how you run it so basically this was a simple statement where you have a select clause and then you have a where clause that's it okay so in the real time condition you will or you might have to use joins so what is a join so let's go to the data access tab now and understand what are the different kind of joins available then you have the class join declarative index join and then association and the sub report so let's go to the class join first so class join basically uh, suppose you have another class or another table from which also you want to fetch some uh, values or some column values based on some join condition like uh, suppose for this class for onboarding class you have a case id for which the operator who has worked on that case you want to uh, you want to see the details i want to know the full name of the operator which he has worked on uh, this uh, case or the cases in the onboarding class so what do you do here first of all you need to add the class name to which you want to join right so let's suppose first gives a prefix prefix can be anything so i am giving work list now what is the class i want to get it from assign work list what is include only include matching group so in sql statement you might have heard about left outer join uh, right outer join you know those kind of join right so the only include matching those is when you have an inner join wherein 
uh, you are actually joining the two reports and uh, on the based of that joint condition only the one which matches uh, the criteria will be uh, returned by the report definition so let's go to the edit condition and see so pega has already added the join condition for you so basically pxref object key is is the column wherein the case or the pz ins key of the case is uh, saved in that table in the assign work list class <clears throat> so now it's already been set so let's go to submit and then try to uh, run this and see what is written okay so i get lot of records why because there were uh, there were uh, many uh, cases or many records in the assign work list class which matches with the case id or the pz ins key of my cases in the onboarding class so that's how it's written so in scenario wherein you want to uh, you want to show or the or fetch the column also so you can add it here from that uh, joined uh, condition so what is the prefix here you see it's the wl so let's add wl and then when you give a dot and uh, give a down arrow you will see all the column names which are available for you to fetch from the joined class so let me what you want to add let me add signed operator i know let's add the create date time okay let's run this let's give the column name as wl created yes so you see lot of records have been returned and the wl create date time which is the column in the join uh, class or in the join condition has also been returned so that's how it is uh, a, a join condition is used now what is a declarative index join is basically uh, for page property or page list property you have to create the declare index rule as well so in those condition wherein you have a declare index rule and you want to join it uh, with your class okay in that scenario you just use a declarative index rule here and then uh, it would take care of you to fetch the different columns from the declarative index rule now coming to association what is an association basically suppose there are few joins which have already been created by pega you can use that association directly in your report definition and get the columns that you want suppose um let's let's take one association example for association you just have to add the association rule here so so let's use px work basket assignment work list assignment instead okay so this is the association name and these are the different columns inside that association you can use anything let's use px ref object class so when you do this what will happen is you go to data access tab and the association rule will automatically be added here okay and then you fetch the data okay now there are few other things which you can do here is grouping so suppose i want to uh, display my top ranked two rows or any any number of rows top ranked five rows based on some criteria for each group or based on number of equipment right so like this you can add so let's let's use overall okay so what it will do is it will just display the top rank 5 rows on the basis of number of equipment so let's run and see how it works so you will see that a number of equipment 5 4 4 4 everything is returned right so it's these are the top ranked uh, rows wherein the number of equipment is on the uh, higher side so this is one thing next is parameters yes uh, you can also add any number of parameter that you want which you can use directly in your filter condition suppose i have a parameter 
let me show you a parameter as uh, account data type is text so I can use this here Uh, using the parameter value and here you can use the column which makes sense uh, I don't have any column which matches the account or uh, okay Let, let's just use anything for now so I'm getting this warning because So Pega always tells you to use null if empty option. Otherwise, uh, what it does is it just drops that particular condition and it fetches everything instead. So it just tells you that you should always use null if empty. Then it would restrict the number of records that you're fetching from the table and it will increase the performance. But that's it. Uh, we don't want to do anything here. So I'm just showing you that how, how you can use parameters, right? Now, what else you can do? There are sub reports which I would take it up in the next uh, video, which is basically a report, uh, which where, wherein you will also use a report definition and then uh, join some condition on the basis of which you will fetch the values. So that's what sub report is. Now, coming to how will you use this report definition? As I told you, data page is most uh, used place for report definition. Suppose I can show you one data page. So this data page D underscore book list have a report definition data table editor report. So you can see. So this is the report definition which is used to fetch the value from this data page. Okay. Uh, then you can use those these things in the grid autocomplete as well, which I would uh, like to take up in a separate video. Currently focusing on the report definition, the other things which you can do is the parameter, uh, sorry, the pagination option, right? So there is an uh, option to set the pagination here. So you want to enable paging, you know, uh, you can uh, restrict the page size, page navigation alignment, all of these things can be done, okay? Uh, then uh, you can also I can also report on descendant class instance. Basically, what will happen is suppose you have a child class uh, or a descendant class also, right, from the onboarding class. So you can uh, use this option to fetch the data from both parent class and child class together in that report definition. That is one option which you can use. Data retrieval, as I told you, this is for the database table, but yes, there is an option uh, wherein you can directly fetch the data or the records from the elastic search instead of a database table so that's also one of the option you can do i think these were the main thing other thing you can also explore but uh, you know this was the basically how a report definition is uh, or it looks like and then what are the things that you can do in a report definition uh, now, then in the next video, we would go deeper into the report definition and uh, understand more points on it. But I think for uh, for the for basic understanding of report definition, this video would be useful to you. See you again in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.